So what's going on everybody, it's J.A., it's the Monday show. We got a jam-packed week full of releases. We also got a very important update to the whole James Whitner money laundering suit. And it looks like Adidas is calling it quits as they've just given the boot to one of their major signees. So stay tuned. But to begin, I did want to start with a quick little Adidas Yeezy update, which this isn't anything major, but it looks like we do have another one of these random restocks, which has hit Adidas Canada. So as far as the pairs that restocked, Nothing noteworthy to mention, but I thought it was interesting to note that they actually did restock these pairs at full price. So just another little update for those of you guys that are still following that whole saga. And let's go ahead and jump into this week's releases. So kicking things off with Nike, they're dropping the black colorway of the Clog Posit Amato, which I feel like honestly was a little bit ahead of its time when it originally released. I think it translates much better in today's times, but as far as this release right here, no lie, joints are beginning to kind of grow on me and you can expect these to hit the sneakers app tomorrow as well as nike.com for a retail of 140 bucks now next up also from nike they're going to be dropping the dunk low ceramic this is a part of the cult classic series which nike's revamping some of these rare pairs which did drop back in the day so you can expect to see these hit the sneakers app as well coming up on the 25th for a retail of 120 bucks. Now, next up, we got New Balance making its first appearance as they're set to drop the latest collection of the Made in USA season. Now, I actually thought these pairs were gonna actually drop last week, but we have three pairs officially dropping coming up here on the 26th. And the favorite of the bunch would have to be this 993, which they're calling Mushroom Midnight Violet. But you also have another 993, as well as a cool pair of 990 V6s. So be on the lookout for all of these pairs. Come Coming up here on the 26th and as far as these I wouldn't expect them to be a quick sellout probably something that you could catch on sale within like a couple of months or towards the end of the season now we have Puma making a rare appearance here on the show as they're teaming up with ASAP Rocky on these kind of like racing theme uh, apparel and sneakers so as far as the footwear we have the Puma inhale this is the distressed version which is available in a red and tan pair and they're also dropping this interesting 3d printed model alongside these as well so be on the lookout for these hitting puma the 26 for a retail of 130 bucks now also on the 26 you got one of the hottest trending brands right now at the moment a6 which the gel kyano 14 i would say one of last year's breakthrough models this year has went completely mainstream so they got this cool multi-colored take on this pair which you can expect to see dropping for 160 bucks and on top of this model they're also going to be dropping the budget friendly gel 1130 as well so nice pair for the ladies now as far as this weekend of course everybody's gonna be excited for the big travis scott release but low key are these jordan 12 wolf grays good consolation prize if you happen to miss out on this pair i would say probably not as i think most people would look at these as one of these like unnecessary jordan brand retro colorways we can expect these to hit the outlets more than likely so these will be dropping coming up saturday for 200 bucks but i would definitely hold out to grab these joints for a steal and of course we got the big heavy hitter in the travis scott medium olive now everybody knows what's going on with these there's going to be a, so much coverage you're going to have people camping out waiting for the release or i should say camping out online or whatever but as far as this drive you already know what to expect a whole lot of different narratives going on but i think travis scott and his team they do have a great opportunity to change the narrative with this release maybe they can do it right apparently rumors are stock numbers are extremely high on this so hopefully they'll make this a sneaker which actually can get into the hands of people so these will be hitting the sneakers app for 150 bucks as well as other select retailers and then the big surprise release which we just got breaking news on this apparently the highly anticipated nego air force 3 will be debuting coming up this saturday for 160 bucks now the catch is is these are actually going to be in-person event so we will see a global launch later on in october but for those of you guys located in tokyo they are going to have this little human made pop-up or whatever as well as for people in new york they're going to do the i know nego 2 pop-up coming up this saturday so great opportunity to get a highly coveted upcoming sneaker in the air force 3 nego so let me know what you guys think about those and as far as this week's releases are you looking to pick up any of these pairs all right and it looks like we have a major update in regards to the whole james whitner money laundering scandal which if you are unfamiliar james whitner he's the owner of boutiques such as ama manier social status 
plus other entities which fall under the Whitaker Group moniker. Now, earlier this year, an associate of his actually had $1.2 million seized by law enforcement, which opened up this like big, huge can of worms, which allegedly um, led to an investigation in regards to $32 million worth of money laundering with this whole China situation and everything like that. So it looks like as far as the case, we have reached some form of a conclusion here as the Whitaker Group took to social media pretty much to let all of us know that they have been acquitted of all accusations. It reads, following a thorough investigation by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Western District of North Carolina into James Whitner and the Whitaker Group, the office has declined prosecution based on upon, among other things, the sufficiency of admissible evidence to support prosecution. So it looks like in regards to this good news, they officially said, as we move forward to set our sights on the future, we are excited to keep building a legacy of excellence, telling the stories and building experiences that shape the community and culture. So with this new conclusion to the whole case, do we all owe James Whitner a big apology or is it a case that James Whitner is untouchable and beat the feds. And lastly, we have a major Adidas update. Now, whenever we talk about Adidas basketball, of course, we always mention the likes of Anthony Edwards, James Harden, even this year, low key, the Dame Nine has been making a little bit of noise, but there was an Adidas signee, which at one point was one of Adidas basketball's biggest assets in Trey Young. Low key, I almost forgot he was actually signed to Adidas, which originally they signed that deal back in 2018. By then in late 2021, we saw the debut of the Trey Young one. So if you guys remember back in that time, 2021, this was like during the whole ice trade the gang era. Everything was all good back then. And low key, this sneaker did actually receive kind of like a positive reception as at that time, Trey Young was like one of the hottest upcoming rising stars in the NBA. Of course, then the following year, they did debut the Trey Young 2, which low key featured a very similar design language. Weren't really moving the model too much from the Trey Young one, but they did drop some pretty cool colorways now the previous or the following year we did see them debut actually last year the Trey Young 3 which again features similar design elements but they did take a drastic change with the sole which features this like Adidas topographic sole it's almost like a 3D printed look I forgot exactly what they call this tech right here but I'm not even gonna lie these joints are hideous so as far as this pair right here this is a sneaker which it felt like Adidas couldn't give away as you guys see right now these joints are heavily discounted on Adidas website. So of course, with all of that being said, we have the debut of the Trey 4, which is set to drop coming up soon. But actually, according to Soul Retriever, apparently they have word from one of their sources that this will be Adidas and Trey Young's very last signature model. So apparently this sneaker was set to debut earlier, but it seems like it has now been delayed to a possible early 2025 release. So I would say as far as Adidas and Trey Young's relationship, I don't know if things have went sour or not, who knows, but as far as his performance last year, on top of the sneakers doing bad, the Atlanta Hawks had a horrible performance. They didn't even make the playoffs. There's rumors about Trey Young moving, taking his talents to another team and all that, but of course, that's just rumors. But of course, with this upcoming model set to debut and with rumors that this is possibly the last signature model, I don't feel like this sneaker will be off to a great start. So let me know what you guys think about these as well as Trey Young's other releases. Could it be that maybe behind the scenes there could be some type of internal conflict between Trey Young and Adidas? Who knows? Maybe both parties aren't seeing eye to eye at the same time. You also got to think that, you know, over the years, people like James Harden as well as Anthony Edwards have kind of became the new face of Adidas basketball so maybe Trey Young feels played out again that's all speculation so we'll see what the future holds it doesn't mean that they no longer will be working together but they just no longer will be dropping a signature model so maybe we'll see like possibly Trey Young drop a new alternate model maybe a more budget friendly model again with Adidas so we'll see what the future holds between those two or who knows maybe he could take his talents to a lesser known brand such as like an Anta you see what they're doing with Kyrie Irving I'm sure they would open him a welcome arms 
or he could even go to a direct competitor such as like a Nike or a New Balance. But anyways, we have the Trey Young 4, which is set to debut apparently sometime in 2025. Let me know what you guys think about this whole Trey Young, Adidas, fiasco and throughout the years have you ever purchased a pair of adidas trey young basketball sneakers drop your feedback down below so also let me know what you guys think about the whole james whitner suit and everything like that of course nike did back him up the whole way through so maybe they knew he was innocent the whole time or as i mentioned maybe that boy is really untouchable like that so also let me know what you guys cop or going for as far as this week's releases of course we know everybody's going to be going for those travis joints probably not to wear but most likely to re sell but at the same time we have another whole set of great pairs releasing from some of your other favorite brands so let me know if you guys are checking for any of those also if you made it all the way to the end please let me know by dropping a salute down below so i'm ja if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and hit the like button no poll today i actually didn't drop a poll so if you guys are missing the poll of the day also let me know if you guys want to see that make a return so salute guys that's it for this monday show of course i'll catch y'all tomorrow in the meantime stay safe Stay blessed, and I'm out, y'all. Love.